Hello everybody, and today I decided that I'd film a quick reaction to Everglow's Dun Dun. Um, I'm going to be making this video and then a reaction video to Luna's comeback, but I'm only going to be doing the music video because I want to do um, review videos for the comebacks not just reaction videos but I figured um I might as well do these reactions kind of pump them out real quick for some content but I am working on different videos like review videos so just know these are probably the only two reaction videos that are going to come out of um February oh and Moon Mule's reaction video to her solo my bad my bad but Anyways, um, my throat is a little scratchy, so just ignore that, but the thumbnail is exalting. Also, warning to YouTube, uh, this channel isn't meant for little kids. It's meant for pre-teens, like 13 and up. It's meant for teenagers and, um, adults. So, please don't get mad by the maturish content okay so thought I'd tell YouTube that I get it Ed. oh my god I'm so scared Okay, this, I thought Everglow's for last music video for Adios wasn't going to budget, uh, I, I meant was going to be the big budget one, but holy shit, this is even, no, I'm already scared, bitch. Shion era. Shion era. I've been saying this all over my Instagram. Oh my god. Shion era. Please. This woman. Okay. Yes. Also, she's starting the song after Yaren. Yes. Aisha. Is EU gonna get real lines? Yes, Mia! Savage. Oh. What the? Why are they gyrating? Everglow have to slay like this. Stop, please. Oh, that's my bias. That's my bias. Look at her. Look at her! Okay. The red outfits. Okay, can we talk about how they completely changed Ice's position from like a vocalist to a rapper? What's up with that? Okay. He's getting lines! He's getting actual lines! I'm so happy. Is Onda gonna get more lines than the ad libs though? The second chorus slaps 
harder than the first car. Why are they so good? No. Everglow. Why do you keep on... Okay, give Shion more lines. Why are they on the floor? I just realized. Like, it just didn't register in my brain. Why are y'all on the floor? What is this? Oh. Oh. There you are, Gwen. On the center, are the on the stands okay? I'm so shook. Oh! <laughs> Even Mia is getting a dance break before Lisa Monovan, okay? <laughs> What? Oh my god! Why are people not standing Everglow at this point? What? <sighs> okay, so quick honest thoughts. Um... I I think that Shion should have had more of the singing parts that Mia had. Not that Mia's voice was bad or anything on them. But um like I don't know. Like the way I can describe it is like Shion's voice and every single part of the song sounded perfect. Like uh, her, like the song fits her voice so much, and I kind of knew it would when the teaser first dropped because of just the style. So, like the fact that she only has like the beginning line, and then she has the ending line, and then like one more line, but like that line was kind of short. Uh, it, it's kind of irritating because, like, I feel like this song fits her voice style more than Mia's voice style. Mia's voice still fits a bit, but, like, Shion's voice fits incredibly well with the deep bass part of the song. So, like, I don't really understand why they keep on snubbing Shion of lines when she's supposed to be considered a main vocal just like Mia. Like, Everglow's Positions is like... I think Shion is supposed to be a main vocal, not a lead vocal. So I don't really understand the snubbing lines in that regard. Uh... I uh, deserved way more lines. Like, we thought Onda got snubbed in Adios. No. Um, Onda did not get snubbed in Adios. Because... She mainly just got ad-libs here. <laughs> she didn't even get lines. She just got ad-libs. That's sad. I'm hoping she she gets more lines in the uh, album. The album that Everglow's going to have. Um the mini album with the with the three other songs. Um But like I don't know. Like, Onda, I feel bad. I'm sorry that you keep on getting snubbed of, like, proper lines. Because, what the heck? Uh, um, Aisha's rapping was pretty good. But not gonna lie, I don't understand why they're pushing Aisha so hard as a rapper when EU is there. Like, I love Aisha, okay? Her rap style is interesting. It's a little different. But, like... Aisha does have a rapper position, but, like, E is supposed to be the main rapper. Like, that's EU's position, officially. She's the main rapper. So, like, I don't really understand why they keep on switching 
between Aisha and EU for rap parts, it doesn't really make that much sense to me. Like, they could have done, like, Aisha's rap part, like, on the first verse, and then EU could have gotten the whole second verse rap. And I think it would have been more fair that way. Instead of just, like, the switching back and forth. I love the fact that EU finally got some lines, though. She got three. We stand that. We stand the fact that you got three lines. Like, holy shit. Are we, are we excited? Are we excited that you is finally getting some line and screen time that she deserves? Well, she's gotten a good bit of screen time. Then lines. Like, she's actually getting lines. Um. You know. All I have to say is center on the and dance break EU Slade. And... This is their best music video. I thought Adios is going to be their best music video because I was like, there's no way that it can get better than that music video. Camera-wise, I still think Adios is better. Like, the way that they, he shot the music video in terms of, like, the way he moved the camera. But, like, in terms of just set and, like, outfits and, like, everything else, this one takes the cake. This is such a gorgeous music video. They're really going all out for their world tour, man. Anyways, support Everglow. Stream done done. It's a bop, okay? I'll review the album on another day. Love you guys. Bye-bye.